Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at enlargements. First, let's look at how to describe enlargements. Describe the following enlargements. Let's look at the first one. Enlargements are described using two things, that is the center of enlargement and the scale factor. To find the center of enlargement, you need to find one set of vertices, the object and the corresponding image. And then you join them together with a ruler and you just extend the line like so. And you do the same for another set of vertices. I'm going to use this D and D, the corresponding image. Join it together. And you can do the same for C as well. You will find that all of them intersect at the same point here. And the point of intersection is the center of enlargement. So this is negative 6, negative 6. And so we found the center of enlargement. Now we need to find the scale factor. The scale factor's formula is the image length over the corresponding object length. So you pick a side. In this case, it's always easier when we choose a horizontal or a vertical side because we can count the number of squares. So for the image, AC, there's four squares here. For the object, there's two squares. So the scale factor will simply be image over object, four over two. And so the scale factor is two. Now we're ready to describe this enlargement. We can say that a prime b prime c prime is an image of abc under an enlargement at center negative 6 negative 6 with a scale factor of 2. This is how we describe enlargements. Now let's learn how to draw the image of the object under enlargement. So this is the object abcd. How do we draw the image? We always start from the center of enlargement and we go to the vertex. So let's go to a from the center. We have to move two units to the right and two units down. Where is the corresponding image for this vertex? First, we look at the formula for scale factor. Scale factor is the length of the image over the length of object. So if we want to find the length of image, length of image is simply the length of object times the scale factor. That's exactly what we're going to do. So 2 times scale factor given in this question is 2.5. So times 2.5, you get 5. So that's 5 units for both as well. So 5 units to the right from the center. So we go 5 and 5 down. This is where the corresponding image for the vertex A will be. Once you have an anchor point, you can actually use that anchor point instead of the center and repeat the same process again. So for example, from A to B is 2 units to the right. We already know that 2 is going to translate to 5 after we multiply with 2.5. So we need to move 5 units to the right. That's here. And we repeat this process again. So this is 2 units down. So we go down 5 units here. This is C. And then we move 2 units to the left. So we move 5 units here and we end up with B. And now that we have plotted all the images of the vertices, we can join them together to form the image. This is the image of the object ABCD under enlargement at center P with scale factor of 2.5. You can always check by drawing a line from the center of enlargement to the image and see whether it passes through the vertex, the corresponding vertex of the object. What about if we needed to find the object instead of the image? draw the object for each of the following. We're going to use the same method, but this time, using the formula K is the length of image over the length of object. The length of object will actually be the length of image divided by K. So instead of multiplying with K, now we have to divide by K to go from image backwards to the object. Let's do that here. The scale factor is 2. This is the center of enlargement. Let's start with D as our anchor point. So D, we have to go up to here and here. Let's count the number of units. So this will be for 8 units and then 4 units. Now, in order to find where the object will be, we divide these values by the scale factor. So this will be 8 divided by scale factor of 2. This will become 4. 4 divided by 2 will become 2. So let's do that. 2 units to the right and 4 units down. This is where the corresponding image vertex is going to be. Now from here we have our anchor points. 
now we can do it based on the image the anchor point instead of the center of enlargement so from here we go up four units which means this will become two divided by two you go up two you end up here and then here is two units to the right which means this will become one divided by two so we are going to end up here and then for the point B from C we are going two to the right and two up both will become one after we divide by two so we know we are going one and one so this is the corresponding object and then we have all of our points now all we have to do is join them together and this is the object of this image under enlargement with scale factor 2 at the center V. Once again you can check by drawing a line from the center of enlargement to the image and see if it passes through the corresponding vertex of the object. So far we've been dealing with positive scale factors and scale factors that are larger than 1. Let's try this question to see the effect of a negative scale factor and a scale factor that is less than 1. So on the same axis Draw the images of A under the enlargement at center P with the following scale factors. So let's try two first because we are familiar with how to do this. We start from the center of enlargement and let's go to this side. So from here, we have six units up and four units to the right. For a scale factor of two, the image will be six times two, which is 12, and four times two, which is eight. So let's start with that. We go 12 up, means a further 6 here, and then 8 to the right. So 4 and another 4 here. So this is where we end up with for this. Now we can use the shortcut. Don't have to use the center anymore. We can start with this point. So for this point, there's 2 units up and 4 units to the right. So this will become 4 and this will become 8, multiplied with the scale factor. So we are going up by 4 and then we are going to the right by 8 units that is here. And then for the last one at the bottom here it's 4 units down and 2 units to the right. So this is going to become 8 and this is going to become 4. So 8 units down, 8 units down so all the way here and 4 units to the right. So here. And now we have all the points, all the vertices of our image. Now we can join them together to form the image. So this is the object with scale factor 2. We are already familiar with how to do this. What about if it was negative 2? When you have a negative scale factor, the magnitude is still the same. The magnitude is 2, which means the image will be twice as big as the object, the length of the image size. And the negative indicates the position. Negative means that the image will now be on the opposite side of the object when we compare it to the center of enlargement. Let's try this. So once again, let's start with this point. Now, If this was 6 and 4. So this is 6 up and 4 right. Now the sides, the lengths will still follow the scale factor which is 2, even though it's negative 2. The magnitude is the same. So this will become 12 and this will become 8. However, now the direction is the opposite. So if we are going 6 up, we need to go 12 down. So that would be 3, 6, 9 and 12. 12 down. And since we are going 4 to the right, it will be 8 to the left. So now we go 8 to the left. So this is 4 and 4, 8 to the left. So this is where the image is. So you can see when we use the center of enlargement here, this is our comparison point, the image and the object are on the opposite sides. Now let's complete this image. So from here, again, let's try this one. You go 4 down and 2 right. This is going to become 8 up, this is 2, so this becomes 4 left. From this point, 8 up and 4 left. This is where it's going to be. And then from this point, we have 2 
right and 6 up. So that's going to translate to 4 left and 12 down. Let's try that. From here we have 4 left and 12 down. So this will be 3, 6, 9, 12 here. Now that we have all our vertices, let's join it together to form the image. This will be, so this is the image under enlargement of this object with a scale factor of negative 2 at center P. So you can see the size of the images are the same. This is when it was 2 and this is negative 2. The size of the images are the same, however, the position is different. Relative to the center of enlargement, the object and this image are on the same side. But the object and this image, when it's negative 2, are on opposite sides. So this is what happens when we use negative 2. Now what happens if the scale factor is smaller than 1? So what if the scale factor is half? Let's try this. So again, we start from the center of our anchor point. We can take uh, this one as the anchor point. So 6 up and 4 right. Now this is a positive scale factor, so we go on the same side. So 6 will become 6 times half, which is divided by 2, which is 3. 4 will become 4 times half, which is 2. We're going to use this and go up by 3 and 2. So this is our anchor. Once we have our anchor, we do the same thing. So this is 2 and 4. 2 will become 1, 4 will become 2. So from here, 1 and 2 here. And then from here we go 6 down and 2 left. 6 will become 3, 2 will become 1. So 3 and 1 here. Now we have all the vertices. Let's draw the image. So from here we will have. And this is the image of A under enlargement with a scale factor of positive half, positive 1 over 2. So we can see that since it's positive, it's still on the same side. However, now the image is smaller than the object. So when the scale factor has a magnitude of less than 1, then the image will be smaller than the object. When the magnitude of the scale factor is more than 1, the image will be larger. So what if it is negative 1 over 2? Once again, the negative only indicates the position. So it's going to be on the opposite side. Of the center of enlargement. Let's try this. For this point, once again, 6 up, 4 right. Applying the scale factor of 1 over 2, the magnitude will become half. So this will be 3 and this will be 2. However, because it is negative, now we are going to go the opposite direction. So it's going to be 3 down and 2 left. So this is our anchor point. And now we can continue from here to the rest. Once again, 2 up from here, 2 up and 4 right will become 1 down and 2 left. So 1 down and 2 left. This is where the image is. And from here we are going to go 6 down and 2 left which means this will become 3 up and 1 right. Let's do that. So there's three up and one right here. And now we have all the vertices. Let's connect them together. And this is the image of this object under enlargement with a scale factor of negative one over two at center. Once again, it's on the opposite side to the image. And one thing you will notice about these two images with negative scale factors is that they have been rotated 180 degrees relative to this object. Not only are they on the opposite sides, but they will also be rotated 180 degrees. If you join a line through the center of enlargement, everything will be aligned, like so. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did learn something, please help me by hitting the like button. Do share this video with all your friends if you think it will help. And I will be producing at least one video a week. I hope to see you guys in the next one.